What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient automatic Minecraft Bedrock item sorter. This item sorter works on 0.17 and on all other recent versions of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, and a Switch or a PC. By the way, it is more reliable than my previous item sorter. For this item sorter, all you'll need is 20 chests, 24 hoppers, 24 redstone, 8 redstone torches, 8 redstone repeaters, 8 redstone comparators, 8 glass blocks, and finally about 48 solid blocks. You guys can use any type of solid block that you want. By the way, a couple examples of solid blocks include cobblestone and wood planks. The first step is to take some solid blocks so you guys can use any type of solid block that you want. Now place down two. Now place two chests over here. That should create a double chest. Now crouch down and create seven more double chests. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After creating all seven of those double chests, break these two blocks. Now come to the back. Then crouch down and place a hopper behind each chest. Make sure all those hoppers are flying towards his chest. You guys can tell those hoppers are flying towards the chest because as you guys can see there, the nozzles of them should be facing that way. The next step is to crouch down and place a block behind each of those hoppers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now turn over this direction. Then place a rest of comparator on top of each of those blocks. Make sure the two prongs of each of those resident comparators are facing towards these hoppers. Once you guys are done placing all those resident comparators, come over here. Then crouch down and place a hopper at this spot. Make sure the nozzle of that hopper is flying towards that resident comparator. Now crouch down and place 7 more hoppers over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Make sure the nozzles of those hoppers are all flying towards the resident comparators as well. The next step is to come to the back. Now place 8 blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then place 2 blocks at this spot. Now fill in that island with solid blocks. After you've done that, place 8 blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now place a rest and repeat at each of these spots. Make sure the two prongs of each of those rest and repeaters are facing that way. The next step is to turn over this direction. Now place 8 rest and torches over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Those resident torches should make those resident repeaters become activated. After you have placed all those resident torches, place a glass block on top of each resident torch. Now place 8 blocks over here. After you have completed that step, place 8 resident over here. Now place 8 over here as well. Then place 8 over here. That redstone should be looking like that. The next step is to crouch down and place a block at this spot. Now crouch down and place two chests over here. Then break this block. After you've done that, turn over this direction. Then crouch down and place eight hoppers over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure the nozzles of the hoppers are all flying towards the chest. Now crouch down and place two chests over here. One, two. This chest will be where you put items you have to sort, and this chest will be where the items that don't get sorted go. The next step is to set up this item sorter. To do that, first open this hopper, then put 41 of one of the items you want to sort in this item sorter over here. I'm going to choose to sort iron. Now place one of an item that you don't want to sort in this item sorter at each of these spots over here. I'm going to choose to put dirt. Now open this hopper, then put one of the items that you want to sort in this part of the item sorter over here. Make sure this item is the same item that you put in the first slot of this hopper up here. By setting up those two hoppers like that, this chest over here is where iron will get sorted into. The next step is to open this hopper. Now put 41 of the item that you want to sort in this part of the item sorter over here. I'm going to choose to sort diamonds. Now place one of an item that you don't want to sort in this item sorter at each of these spots. I chose to put dirt. Then open this hopper. Now put one of the item that you want to sort in this part of the item sorter over here. Once again, make sure it is the same item that you put in the first slot of the hopper above. By doing that in this item sorter, this chest will be where diamonds are sorted into. The next step is to repeat that process for setting up each of those other sections of the item sorter. After you guys have completed that step, these two rows of hoppers should be set up. These are how my hoppers are set up. Once again, you guys don't need to sort the same items, however, your hopper should be set up in the same format.
I am now going to do a quick farmer so you guys can check and make sure you made this item sorted correctly. Down here, you guys should have these clocks and chests. Over here, you guys should have this bottom row of hoppers. Make sure they're all falling towards the chests. Over here, you guys should have this middle row of hoppers. Make sure they're all falling towards the rest of the comparators. Over here, you guys should have this input chest. Then over here, you guys should have this top row of hoppers that are all falling towards that chest. The back should have all this back redstone. Make sure all your resident comparators and resident repeaters are facing the correct directions. Also, make sure your resident torches and resident are at the correct spots. At this point, if you guys want to label the different sections of your item sorter, you guys can do that. All you need to do is first turn over this direction. Now crouch down and place a stair at each of these spots. Then turn over this way. Now place an item frame in front of each of those stairs. Then put the item that is going to get sorted into each of the chests into the item frame above. If you guys don't want to use item frames, another option is to use signs. You guys can write the name of the item you want to sort on the signs. By the way, this step is completely optional. If you guys don't want to label a chest, you guys don't have to do it. How this item sorter works is you guys can first put the items that you want to sort into this chest. Those items will get funneled through those top row of hoppers. By the way, you guys can put any item you want into this chest except for the item that you use to fill the back four slots of each of the hoppers in the middle row. For example, for me, I use dirt to fill those spots so I can't put dirt into this chest. Each column of the item sorter will sort the item that is set up to sort. For example, this column over here is set up to sort iron. As a result, whenever iron goes into that hopper, it will then go into this hopper. The resident compared will then detect that, then send a resident signal to deactivate that resident torch. Whenever that resident torch deactivates, this resident repeater will also deactivate to unlock this hopper. That will allow the item to go into this chest. After the item or items are done flying through, the resident compared will detect that, then send a resident signal over to the resident torch to activate it. That will cause the resident repeater to activate as well, and cause this bottom hopper to get locked again. All the items that don't get sorted into these clocks and chests will get sent over here. I am now going to show you how to use this item sorter. To use it, first open this chest, then put the items that you want to sort in here. Once again, you guys can put any type of item you want into that chest except for the item that you use to fill the back four slots of each of the hoppers in the middle row. For me, I can't put dirt because I put dirt over here. Those items will then all get funneled through the sorting system. Once you guys have waited for the items to funnel through that chest, you guys can then check these chests over here. Your items should be sorted. All the items that are not supposed to get sorted will be in this output chest. By the way, if you guys ever notice that an item that was supposed to get sorted in your item sorter ends up over here, you guys can just take that item out, then put it back over here. It should then get sorted into the correct spot. By the way, if you guys want to expand the storage system, you guys can easily do that. To do that, you guys can break these eight blocks. Then break these eight blocks as well. Now place eight double chests over here. Then crouch down and place a hopper at each of these spots. Make sure the nozzles of all those hoppers are falling downwards. That will allow you to store twice the amount of loot. If you want to store even more loot than that, you guys can just repeat that process of adding more hoppers and more chests. Also, if you guys want to expand this item sorter so that it stores more different types of items, you guys can easily do that. All you need to do is expand it this way. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient automatic Minecraft Bedrock item sorter. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do in future videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out other Minecraft videos. I upload it every day. Thanks for watching.